explosive pop tart and welcome to morris so if you guys didn't see my video on melissa which is a visual novel game uh go check that out uh basically that's like the precursor to this game or the prequel to this game so uh for those that did see melissa let's go into morris i'm really excited to see what this game's all about uh, I didn't read the description. All I know is it's a continuation of what Melissa started, essentially. Oh, boy. Welcome to the library system computer. Please type in your username. Um, I don't know. Jack Ass? Yes. Welcome, Jack Ass. Thank you. Thank you. Please type command. Uh, check library newsletter. What's this about? Thank you for subscribing to the library newsletter. Printing newsletter now. Please check library printer. You got it. What the fuck? Oh, this game's got animation. I dig it. I dig it. An upcoming update to our library systems. Hello, library patrons. Thank you for subscribing to our monthly newsletter. Updates to our library. Due to an increase in demand for romantic books... We've introduced a total of 20 new books to our circulation. There have been requests for romance manga to be put in our circulation library, and Jerry has taken a gander at what a manga is, and it is determined to be some kind of comic book. As it is common knowledge, comic books are not real books, and therefore have no place in a proper library. What? That seems kind of fucked. Technology news. As per request of many patrons, we have introduced many new games as well including a plethora of what kind of word is that for i guess it's supposed to be education education i don't know edutainment i don't know what that is oh is it like entertainment okay like educational games i guess for children ages four to ten we also hear you and have ordered the remaining softwares for the daytime dating simulation game we have just received the Morris package, and Anna will be coming through our circulation soon. We would like to put a notice that our Melissa diskette is still missing. If you have any information about the software, please. Okay, I can't read the rest of it. Wow. Okay, so somebody stole the Melissa disk at... Welcome, jackass. That's such a lovely introduction. I'm glad I chose that for my name. <laughs> that's going to make some for some interesting conversations, that's for sure. Disk Morris found executing date time now please hold you got it i got all the time in the world how you guys doing <laughs> okay i guess we're back date time welcome to date time a game where you can date the cutest girl or boy of your dreams notice this is the morris package if you would like to date anyone besides morris please switch to sketch sorry all i have is morris so i'm kind of stuck choose your potential mate i'm i don't we don't have anna's disket i'm stuck with morris believe me i'm not happy about it I want to get smooch from this girl. We're getting blah, 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 whatever, whatever. I, I can't date you, Anna. I have to wait for the third game. I hope that third game is coming. Seriously, I want to find out more about Anna. Everybody seems to have a dark side, so I'm assuming that Morris and Anna have this side of them that isn't available in hindsight. She loves a good book. Yeah, no, I've already dealt with Melissa. She, she's not what she says she is. She's an evil motherfucker. That's what she is. I, I already got a smooch from her. Honestly, I don't want another one. So next person, please. This is Morris. He may have a bit of a bad boy side. But tap a bit into him and he'll open up a side of him that is sensitive and soft. He may love motorcycles, but he hates to admit that he also loves poetry. Okay. Play your cards right and you'll get a smooch from this interesting lad. I guess. I don't have any other choice. <laughs> kind of stuck. Loading scenario. Okay. Dear Lord. Morris better be better, better than Melissa, otherwise I'll have a cow. Oh no! Along your pleasurable road trip, your car had taken a tumble. Tumble? What the fuck? Did we fall off a rock? Like a, a mountain or something? Tumble? What? But don't worry, you're able to get it towed to a small town's mom and pop auto repair shop. J&W, apparently. Not to mention, you heard they just hired a cute new mechanic there. How did I hear that? Did I hear a bird? cawing in the wind that said oh, oh there's a cute there's a cute guy at a mechanic shop in town go there how did i just hear that inside you meet up with joan the co-owner of the joan and wes auto repair shop oh j and w makes sense now morning pumpkin morning old hag you must be jackass <laughs> thanks don't wear it out 
we got your car in our in our in our garage and our best mechanic working on it. But I hope you enjoy your stay in our beautiful town. I'm sure it's beautiful. <laughs> Fucking liar. Who are you? My name is Joan. I'm co-owners with my husband Wes. We both met each other visiting this town, and the rest is history. <laughs> okay. Okay. Whatever. Can I go to my car? What can I do in this town? What can I do in this town? If it's so special, tell me all about it. Oh, you'll love this town. It's so romantic. We have a beautiful park with a swan pond. Oh my god, that sounds exciting as shit. Can't wait for that. And a very good cafe near it. Okay, at least we can get some grub. Might I suggest a strawberry salad? <laughs> Might you shut the fuck up? Give me to my car. Thank you. You'd like to see your car? Yes, that's why I'm here. Go down the hallway. Our new recruit, Morris. Oh god is working on it now. He might seem quiet at first, but he's a real sweet boy. I'm sure he is. And might I mention he's an excellent poet. That's a random thing to drop on somebody. So romantic. You're a little weird, John. You're a little weird. Anyways, off you go. Have fun. Computer, you walk down the hallway. I'm glad my computer's talking to me. It's lovely. When suddenly... You bump into a large man. Oh, he is a large man. He flashes a warm smile and takes a step back to greet you. Ho oh, oh, ho, sorry about that. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Get out of my way, I'm gonna go to my car. Hope I didn't scare you. Not at all. Not at all. Joan would give me a good talking to if that happens. Ho oh, oh. ho. Stop ho ho and are you Santa Claus? Anyways, you must be jackass. <laughs> These people are not very friendly. Hello and welcome to our great town. <laughs> Despite the circumstances, speaking of which, your car. Yeah, can I get to that? It's in the hands of our newest mechanic, Morris. Who is Morris? I'm off to see Morris. We don't need to know who Morris is. He's a mechanic. Have fun with Morris. Thank you. You wave goodbye to the Jolly West and walk deeper into the auto repair shop. What a whirlwind of a start. Everything's just rapidly zooming through. We're already in the auto shop. Oh, God, don't hit me with that, you motherfucker. Oh. He's pretty innocent looking. I'll trust him. Woo, what a workout. I hope nobody saw me struggle on that tire iron. What? What, what? what are you, Wario? Oh, my gosh. What, 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 where did you come from? <laughs> okay, we're having a stuttering issue, I see. You, you, you must be the owner of the... Oh, no. <laughs> the, this fool is cute. Okay, stop sweating beads, man. It's a little weird. <laughs> These noises, man. I don't know how else to say them out loud, so I'm just doing it the best I can. So you're Jackass, huh? I'm Morris. Yeah, I'm Jackass. Well, I've got bad news for you. <laughs> oh, God. Your engine's fried. Lovely. Did you even apply coolant to your car? No. What the I don't know. Figures. Looks like you're stuck in our boring town for a couple days while we wait for the parts to arrive. More time with you? Oh, no. Whatever shall I do? If you excuse me, I gotta pry out your dead engine. Don't do anything stupid or cute while I'm working, okay? Now, who says that in a normal human conversation? Whatever. Moving on. As Forrest goes back to work in your car, you spot a small written note on the desk. It says, Early Dove, a poem by Morris. Print out the poem to read it. Do I have to? Yeah, sure, what the fuck, why not? Everybody has a fucking portable printer around. I'm confused about this game. Is it like, is it like we're playing this on a computer? Or, I'm so lost. It's like, so basically we're playing a game on a computer about somebody playing a game on a computer. I'm lost. Early Dove by Morris. The early dove gets more love. You can't wait a ton to find the one. That's what I was always told in every day without being bold. And I feel that one day I'll be left in the cold. Won't someone come to buy my dove? To be, oh my god, I fucked up. To be my dove. I was going so good for a while. Jesus Christ. Early Dove by Morris is the intellectual property of daytime software. Do not photocopy this print do not post it on a public forum without a distribution license like our games want more episodes a daytime Lisa Met said no thanks yeah whatever I'm not paying you seven dollars how is this your property he made the fucking poem hey that that's mine don't don't read that this is your poem it's terrible <laughs> yeah I'm gonna be nice I'm gonna be nice I'm not gonna be mean 
you you go you 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 glitching out much. Nobody has ever said. I mean, uh, your car will be available in a couple days. Please enjoy the town. You know, you thank Morris and head outside in the cold air. Okay. Next to the shop is the town's park. The trees have already shed their leaves for winter. Uh, and the swans at the pond... Swans at the pond have migrated to warmer climates for the season. I thought that rhymed for a second. But even so, the early... The early winter atmosphere of this park is so fetching. And maybe a little romantic. Isn't that what they said in the last game? We're using dialogue, are we? You sit at the bench to stare out over the beautiful landscape. When suddenly... Ha, hi. Morris sits down next to you at the bench. Um, jackass? Would... Would you like to join me at the cafe? You don't need to yell it at me, okay? Yes, sure. We'll have lunch at the cafe. I mean, I mean, not like a day, 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 day or something. I just, uh, 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 it's, it's cold and winter is here and it might sn snow soon. Yeah, okay. You should, a nice excuse. You should eat something to keep your strength up. What? You're weird. I'm just trying to be a good person. Yeah, I'm sure you have all the right intentions. Yeah, are you blushing? Let's not make him feel weird. Now, come on. I know a quick route. You follow Morris to the cafe. I didn't want to be mean and or make him feel like weird by saying, you know, you're blushing. <laughs> Why are you blushing, bro? It's a little weird. The cafe serves some of the finest coffee in town and the freshest pie sandwiches and salad. Both you and Morris sit by a small corner, both looking out the window at the pretty park. A waiter saunters out to ask what you would like to order. Would this be the same waiter from Melissa? I think it is. Delicious strawberry salad. There you go, Joan. The waiter nods and turns to Morris. Give me a ham sandwich. I don't think that was an option, bro. My man's making up shit as he goes. The waiter smiles and walks into the kitchen, leaving both you and Morris alone at the table. You and Morris talk, some, talk amongst yourselves. Morris mentioned that he likes motorcycles, and that's why he sought to get the job at Joan and Wes's auto shop. Maybe one day I can finally buy one. Not working those hours, man. Not working those wages and riding myself out of this boring town. Morris's mood changes when he reminds himself of the job. It's good to make money, right? Yeah, if I had any. Dear Lord. I just wish Joan and Wes were nicer people. Come again? Are they not nice? They seem to like you. What? All day they just yell at me about my job. Hmm, somebody's being fake. Then they make fun of me for working on poetry. They little Joan literally complimented your poetry. What is going on in the city, man? I'm just a disappointment to them. Jeez, sorry to hear. They said nice things to me about you. That's very surprising. Wish they'd say it to me directly, though. Oh, well. I didn't mean to bog you down in my own troubles, jackass. That's totally fine. Totally fine, yeah. But thank you for listening. You're quite welcome, Morris. You're quite welcome. Okay, I'm gonna go kill myself back there. Thank you. I'm kidding. Thank you for reading my poetry, by the way. I'm still a little embarrassed by my writing, but... If you would like to, I can share you more. Not because I like you like that. Yeah, sure. Sure, everybody likes explosive Pop-Tart. It's just a unanimous fact. But you may have that not true at all. But you may have have a good eye for writing. Uh, ha ha ha! You're not in excitement to read more of Morris's poetry. Moments later, the waiter comes back with your food: strawberry salad. Both of you dig into the food as the sun sets over the beautiful town. I've never even seen a strawberry salad in my entire life. I'm assuming it's just regular salad with strawberries chopped up into it, but it sounds delicious. You wake to the late morning sun at the town's bed and breakfast. The days are getting colder in town. You shiver a bit before traveling to the auto shop to check your vehicle. You reach the front counter where Joan is waiting for you, smiling. Is Joan invisible? Because I don't see the old hag! She's not there! Oh god. Uh... Wes! Wes, stick to my plan. 
It's going to work. It's going to... Wait, can they read what we said? Morning, pumpkin! I hope you had a great night at our famous B&B. Uh, what were you speaking to Wes about? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't go back. Fuck. Oh, no, you overheard us. Well, might as well tell you the truth. We're giving Morris a surprise gift for being such a great employee. Shh, don't ruin the surprise. What would that surprise be? I'll tell you what. We'll find out in the next episode because I'm all out of time for this video. Um, I don't want to push it too much. I'm going to do a handful of episodes. I'm sure this game's much longer if we've gotten this far and it's not even close to the end yet. So, yeah, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Morris. Uh, let me know if you guys are excited for more. Um, what do you guys think of the game so far? And all that jazz. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.